again, if you're here today, we'll be playing Don't Forget. Um, let's play online mode. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that thing still works. That, okay. Oops, I did not mean to do that. It's a multiplayer demo, so... Play offline mode. Pro tip! This is a pro tip. Thank you, game. Ah... Uh, this is only a demo, so... Welcome to the offline mode of the multiplayer demo for Don't Forget. I didn't want to leave the old beta as the only, as the only thing available on the, on the Game Jam page. So I decided to make it a little demo for you guys. And yes, it is multiplayer, but since you're offline, you won't see anyone. Probably playing it since the server player limit is reached. So allow me to take time to explain why that even exists. Believe it or not, hosting a server costs a lot of money. And the more people that are connecting to the server, the more expensive it gets. So to save money, we have to limit how many people can play. If you want to help, consider donating. For more information on that can be found at the GameMakerServer.com. Anyway, now I'm not familiar, you can freely explore the map. The NPC that has a bit of new dialogue, but not much. But there's not really anything too new about it we had a... It's still on the online mode, but offline, though. And a bit limited. For starters, you can't use the chat, since who would you talk to? And because of that, you can't use commands, so therefore, you can't change your skin either. You also can't buy the badge, since you can't get the passcode. Oh, wait, did it, the Franklin badge is in here? And lastly, you cannot transfer your offline save to the online mode. And vice versa. But anyway, enjoy this offline mode, and have fun! Since this is all offline, there isn't really any need for rules. So just... have fun? Can it, can it even be considered a rule? I don't know. Just have fun, or don't. No, up to you. Why is it all, like, demonic? I don't have any money, so... It's an awful lonely here in the void most of the time, however... A lot of folks have some sort of comparison and it's pretty dangerous. The one already? Oh, there's any good luck out there. This is the void? Toby! Where? Bark, bark, bark. Hey there, player. Bark, 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 bark. I was on Game Jones when I came across this game. Bark, bark, bark. It's pretty neat, so I'm gonna stick around. Bark, 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 bark. That's Dicky R guy sure is talented. Bark, bark. Well, you have a good day now. Okay, Toby. Let's play to the very popular Thunder Snail game. Oh my god, that is loud. Oh, oh my god. Why is that so loud? Oh, hello, Gaster Follower 2, I think. Hmm. I do not recognize you. You must be new to the Void, correct? In that case, welcome to the Void. This is the offline mode of the multiplayer for the demonstration. Try not to go to the final game based on the demo alone. In the final game, you'll be seeing a lot more of me, most certainly. But have fun, and I should be seeing you soon. Up in chest. Yes. Sans, what happened to your eyes? <laughs> yeah, kiddo. 
I can hear the echo of the demonic voice. They are from a version of the devil, huh? Don't blame you. The devil talk pretty much when it was done. The TG find the pretty plus for one prison one. Now, let me share a pro tip with you. While you play, keep your eye on the service status. I'll stop and look what happened. You need to get it quick. Anyway, that's all for me. See you, kiddo. Hello, human. Time to go. I are in the void now. Isn't that cool? I love it here. It's kind of like a camp empty, but it's still cool. You agree, right? I'm going to hang around here for a little while. You go on ahead if you want to, human. Have a good time. So, the void is what happens where monsters go when they're like dead or something, right? I don't think we meant to like, find gas for you. Continue left to go to the Hall of Fame. You need to get plays in there and just trust me to keep the rest of the bra. I don't want to get copyrighted on this video in particular by Nintendo. Actually, I can, and I'm part of the Nintendo Creative Program. I think that I'm in this game, and or the Discord. Now, you guys, this game and Game Skip wouldn't be as good as it is now. I was trying to get some really awesome YouTubers who supported me. Luigi Kid, thanks for being so supportive. Bro. Oh. This gem, thanks for having your helpful feedback. Matt Pat, Pat Matt. I've only been a lo I've been a loyal server for a long time, thank you. Yup, your videos are awesome. Keep it up, son. Yeah. Marisu, holy flip man, you're just awesome, thank you. Other people who deserve to be in here. My family, thanks for being so kind and supportive. Elliot, Elliot, to Elliot 7201, thank you for gifting me the Undertale OST. OST. You can find the entire OST online, but okay. Amelia Cuvius, your glitch sale series is wonderful. Shout out to her. Cast of Mish and Afag. And the comic dub are both amazing. Great job. John Cox, thanks for being so kind and helping out. Tem. Special thank, thank to Tem. They are so cute. Bye, Temflix. Yeah! Those are feelings for an actor put there by Becky G. What's on here? Welcome to the grind room. This is where you can grind for gold and for net in the shop. You want to grind for XP, but killing isn't nice. There are pieces of luck in the door. Maybe you need a key or some kind of to get in. Save point. Being in this dark, spooky void with unsettling ambience. It's fuzzy with determination. HP fully restored. There's no enemies here, I don't think. Yet. Mm -hmm. Snowden? The sun's such a friendly town filled with determination. Okay, this is just like actual Undertale now. I need to check, but it's frozen shut. I can't go in the kitchen. Oh, come on. Well, there was never really any music I played with this, huh? Kinda sad. This is Sam's room. The door is locked. You need a key to get inside. Gosh darn it. You're not in the game yet. Neither is the secret room. Hmm. 
and not blocked. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there ever was a problem, that's kind of cool to tell that face an idiot on it. That's politics. What the heck? Those aren't weren't there before. Let's not go to hell, shall we? Or a typical already or hell. And here's the judgment hall. It stands here. And why is it playing this music? Hmm? There's a note covering a sign. It's from Asgore. It says, out for lunch. I shall be back eventually. Are the coffins here? Why would they be in the void? Holy shit, they're here. But there's no flavor text, so... Does it mean that Asgore is even here? Let's see what it means. He's, he's just not here. The barrier here? The surface? But why? This is the void, right? So why is the surface here? Nothing else? Hmm? You try to open the door, but it's about to shut. Did everyone die? Is this bad future? This is the fucking military. Which one was it from? Hold on, wait. Village, center full of flowers. This is what Char is buried. The big building is currently locked. But it can be unlocked with a key. You just have to find who or what it has. It. This sounds like an apocalyptic gimmick, so home. What is this place supposed to be? Well, let's see now. It has been 20 years since Charles died, so...
Is this the Lost Woods? The ancient stone, two or three, even with him gone, life continues. People live out of their daily lives. It's only a matter of time until it's all in. The father that one day the soul will go empty. That's like the god that everyone would abandon the realm. But then, what exactly will happen to it? This is something no one knows for sure. At the beginning of time, there was a god. This god created everything which we see today. And at first, the god was very happy. But over time, he grew, he, he grew hatred for his work. There was so much pressure, so much stress. The god could not take it anymore. He had he abandoned this world, never to return. He never appeared again. Even with him gone. Blah, blah, blah. Backstory. This is me! This, it is the Lost Woods! So... Here's the second stone. I think you go down now. Ah! Okay, I'm leaving. That scared me. I'm very creeped out. That was not anything that I know. Is the god talking about Gaster? I don't know. This game seems very creepy and apocalyptic. I want it to be a full thing. I'm leaving the surface. Ruin that noise. The ruins? But it's more ruined than usual. I try to read the sign, but text is painted out due to age. The sign is very dusty and old, but you can still somewhat read it. This is the grind room. The dust has ruins. This is like the one point you can grind for EXP and gold here. However, you will still encounter the same enemies. There are no new additions. It's just that there's been more than one grind room in the world. You need to access, you know. Anyways, enjoy grinding. There's no enemies here though. Everything's so sad. Huh? 
about this war. This is maze, that means that if I'm hugging the left wall. Oh no, it's a grind room! Meaning that you can't do anything here. So I have to go to basically the last woods. Nope, not doing it. Anyway, bye.